He is a neurointerventional radiologist with the Clinical Radiologist of Springfield and supports the group's team of interventional radiologists at Memorial Medical Center. Doctor, good morning. Happy New Year. Thank you. Have a, thanks for having me here today, Bob. Now, when a patient is considered to be a good candidate for the pipeline stent, what does that mean? So, uh, these are really rare type of aneurysms. Uh, I just wanted to state this. And uh, patients that are ideal candidates are patients who have uh, aneurysms that are greater than uh, one centimeter with uh, the aneurysm being of a white neck. So what we need to always establish is the uh, location, size, and configuration of these aneurysms. What uh, the advantages? Can you give us the advantages of the pipeline stent procedure? Yes. Well, first of all, it's an, an it's a minimally invasive procedure. Patients uh, do stay approximately one, 24 to 48 hours in the hospital, as opposed to having open surgery, which carries a high morbidity and complication rates, and also a long hospital stay. Doctor, what about the training? What kind of uh, training did you receive to perform the pipeline stent procedure? So, uh, I during my training in my fellowship, I we placed uh, ten of these pipeline devices, and uh, in order to be approved by both the Federal Drug Administration and the uh, the company that makes these devices, uh, there is extra training uh, to be performed, both didactic and uh, in training with a proctor of 10 cases. Doctor, is there any estimate as to how many you expect to do at Memorial Medical Center? So again, Bob, this is a very rare disease process uh, and uh, very specific to that uh, type of aneurysm. So we expect to do about five to six in the Springfield region. Have you done any as yet? Yes, we're very excited to say that we have uh, performed one in uh, last year in December. And uh, we are the first uh, hospital in the uh, Springfield and uh, Central Illinois region to perform this. And how is the patient doing? The uh, patient reports to be uh, doing um, in a great condition. The uh, patient is very excited and her symptoms have proceeded. It has to be uh, just, I, I would think, kind of emotional for someone to have this kind of procedure done. Because when you hear the term brain aneurysm, you, I would think, you know, you would say, wow. I uh, probably don't have much of a chance to make it. And here, if if it is a particular one, then the pipeline stent can save their life, basically. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I can see, just by evaluating this patient that I treated, uh, how excited and how relieved she is as to have been treated and be able to go home uh, 24 hours after the procedure. Doctor, always great to have you on our medical segment here on the WTAX Morning News Watch. Thank you so very much for all the information. Thanks a lot, Bob. Pipeline stents. When you, when you hear that term, don't become too concerned because you've got experts at Memorial Medical Center to take care of you.